Thanks for tuning in, adventurers! So you come seek an adventure in Salty Pirates of the Caribbean Battleship Disney Park Edition. Join us on this journey as we see who will win between Mando and Amy. Who gets the treasure? A team assemble! Okay, A team, we're gonna play the Battleship Pirates Edition, Pirates of the Caribbean Edition. These are the really cool game board pieces. Okay, I'm going to explain what's different from regular Battleship. So, in regular Battleship, these are just black pegs and red peg pegs, but... In it's not this, pigs, it's pegs. <laughs> in this version, they are powdered pegs, okay? Ooh. So, the black ones mean that you've got a miss... And the red ones mean that you've got a hit, just like regular Battleship. But I'll tell you the difference. Um, this would be the the biggest ship is called a Battleship, like in the regular game. Mm -hmm. And in this version, it's called the Wicked Winch. Okay, with the sail. That's the big one here. I have it right here. So if you get a hit on this, you have to say, I'm removing the sail. Okay, and you take the sail off. And then they have to hit the coordinates a second time to actually get a hit on your Wicked Winch. Okay? So that's a difference. And then um, the other difference is after you hit two ships, you get these special cards. Okay? So after... You see those you, cards again? After you hit... Barbosa! I will sink your ship! <laughs> After you hit two ship, oh one ship, you get the walk. You get to say the walk the plank card. So one, two, three, four. You get five coordinates going across in this pattern that you get to tell your opponent, and you get to try to you know make another hit. After you sink two ships, you get to employ the black spot card, and you have to make this pattern: three up and three across. After you sink. <laughs> three ships you get to do the x marks the spot card which is this checkerboard pattern so that's mm. what makes it kind of fun and different from the regular battleship and of course whoever sinks the everybody's ships all five ships wins there's the wicked winch there with five holes yeah with four holes and one's the sail, right? Uh -huh. so that's With five. four holes is the frigate. But the wicked winch has five, right? Yeah, that's the And the, the sail one. counts it for one. In the normal battleship, that would be called the battleship. Okay? Yeah. The frigate has four. And then there's two ships with three holes. There's the cutlass, which has like a little like uh, pear shape at the end. And there's the bateau is like rectangular and then the tiniest guy has two holes and that's the little rowboat that that jack gets marooned on with <laughs> so you have to sh set up your ships on the bottom where jack sails into tortuga yeah you have to set up your ships on the bottom and then the the black and red powder cakes go up here when you call the coordinates for your opponent and if it's a hit or a miss you can fill in the pegs you ready to play Let's give it a shot. Okay. Set up your ship.
you sunk my bateau and all of my ships. Where was your other one? Okay, now you get to reveal. You get to you get to reveal your. Turn it around so I can see where your little guy was. He's the. He, that's the hardest G? one. G is that G? Yeah, that's the hardest one of them all, huh? Oh my god! I got lucky when I got yours right there. I got so lucky with that because look at. The rowboat is the hardest. That's the hardest one. Because it's only two little guys. If if when you're playing, if you could get that rowboat and hide it really good, <laughs> man, I'll tell you what, it really makes it difficult. <laughs> the detail on these boards in this game is just so amazing. From the cards with Hector Barboza on the back on one side to just the back side of the panel from where you put your pegs for your misses that are just different on each one of these. The powder kegs are so detailed, as well as the ships on the main board. Underneath where you put the ships is a Kraken that you can see that's embedded. It looks like it's coming out of the water. Like you imagine that there's water that your ships are on and the Kraken's underneath. And then also the um, chest itself is just is so amazing. The um, instructions are like a treasure map that's got the logo on the front part of the instructions. And then also the whole case itself, you know, for each board is just a total masterpiece with it looking just like a treasure chest. It's got weathering on it. The emblem's so amazing. It's an awesome addition. For all the Battleship fans, as well as Pirates of the Caribbean fans like myself and Amy. So we hope you enjoyed this. We highly recommend this game. And thanks for tuning in. I did beat her at the Battleship. But just remember, not all treasure is silver and gold. Thanks for tuning in, adventurers. Remember, adventure be out there, so go get yours. I humbly accept this magnificent treasure as my reward for the life of Vinny, Larson, and Skullduggles.